Hey guys, Evan Green here, and we are going to be talking about the Resistance 22M, or modular sound suppressor. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing, and then talk about the product in detail, the different configurations and accessories that it comes with, uh, ratings, etc. So in the box, you'll have the suppressor, as well as a protective pouch, a multi-tool wrench for you there, and a pretty generic two-inch fender washer, as well as some print materials. So this suppressor is made of 77.5 aluminum, which is a high-grade aluminum. Um, that gives you the strength of steel uh, while giving you the lightweight uh, quality of aluminum. So this suppressor is, comes in at 4.9 ounces and 4.75 inches in length. So it's pretty compact and lightweight. This is actually rated up to 223 Remington. Um, but in this configuration, uh, this is the standard configuration that it ships in. And uh, we'll start talking about the features that you can see on the product. So we've got uh, wrench flats around the tube in case you ever need to uh, put a wrench on there to you know, interface the different accessories. The rear direct thread insert is gonna be a half by 28 industry standard uh, interface. That's gonna have car stock wrench geometry on it, which will interface with the multi-tool that you receive in the box. This direct thread interface does have a O-ring on it, which will resist uh, vibration, things like that, so that you have a very secure mounting of the body to the interface. Then on the front end, we've got a uh, pretty classic Griffin designed front cap. You can interface your two inch fender washer there to remove that. Now this sil silencer does ship with a wipe in the end cap. Um, you can just poke that right out with a screwdriver or something like that. And so you can see here that it's going to come from the factory with a wipe. And there is your wipe compatible end cap. So there's that. Now you can take out the uh, wipe uh, spacer. And now we get to the HEDP baffle stack, which is a uh, baffle technology that Griffin's pretty well known for. So we have a patented high efficiency dual purpose baffle stack in here. As you can see, the blast baffle is gonna be anodized black for you for an easy uh, identification of that blast baffle. Every preceding baffle is going to be this blue anodized color and there is no order to these baffles so you can put them in any order that you'd like. So there is the exploded view of the product. Now, this product is very high performance in terms of sound performance. We have uh, done a decent amount of tuning with the baffle assembly to get the spacing you know, perfect for the weight parameters and things like that. Uh, you're getting about 113 dB uh, with 22 long rifle subsonic in a pistol, about 115 out of a rifle. And then if you take this suppressor up to 223 Remington, you'll have at the ear signature on a bolt action for varmint use, things like that, at around 129 decibels. So that's uh, where the product shakes out in terms of sound performance. Now, what makes this silencer really uh, attractive, in my opinion, is not just you know, what you're gonna receive in the box, although it's a really high quality product, uh, very nicely finished, et cetera, as you would expect from a Griffin product, but also that it's going to interface with a host of different accessories. All right, so we're gonna talk about reassembly now. Uh, we got our exploded product. I stacked up our HEDB baffles, and as you can see, these feature a uh, slotted, uh, or a little keyway geometry there. Now there's only one tab on these baffles. Uh, the nice thing about that is you can't assemble it improperly. There's only one way to assemble it. Um, we, we engineered that for a couple of reasons. Uh, num uh, number one, we don't want consumers uh, you know, obviously assembling the product improperly with baffles, you know, rotated out of phase. Um, you know, if you do that, then you're gonna lose sound performance. Um, so we, as a company, have kind of carried through with, with that type of uh, mindset for engineering. So as you can see, there's only one way to assemble this. So we're gonna, we're gonna stack them all up, just like so. Then taking your tube, just kind of gently sneak it over, you know, all the baffles. Best way to do this is like I'm doing it on a tabletop. And then that is that. Now from the front end, we can put in your 
retainer. If you're not using a wipe, you know, you can leave this out. If you are using wipe, you can put it back in there. Spin the end cap on, and if I was gonna reassemble this, you know, for, for range use, I would grab this and I would give that a little twist. Um, now the back, obviously just screw that in there. And we're gonna reverse thread it. We're gonna reverse it first, so you hear that click. Just a good practice for not cross-threading any of your threads. And this is a right-hand thread, so you reverse it till you hear that click and then screw it in, you know, right right-hand thread. And you can take your multi-tool and cinch that down, okay? And now you are reassembled. There you have it. Now we're gonna to get to the accessories. So the first configuration that we're gonna talk about for the Resistance 22M is the taper mount configuration, okay? So the taper mount accessories are available uh, through authorized Griffin dealers or on our website. Um, the accessory that you're going to need is the taper mount minimalist blast shield. Uh, this is a brake shield, but it can also configure you know, several of the Griffin armament suppressors to be, be run on a tear mount configuration. Actually, any of the pistol suppressors, any of the 1.375 inch outside diameter pistol suppressors will, will work with this thing. Uh, that includes the Resistance series, the Revolution series, as well as the Optimus 9 at the filming of this video. So again, we're gonna reverse thread this in until we hear that click and then drive it in there. And now you have converted your Resistance 22M to be run on taper mounts. Now the cool thing about this is this will run with any Griffin taper mount, any length, that uh, any model uh, in our line. So right here I've got just a couple options to show you. The uh, flash comp, which is a hybrid muzzle device. The minimalist brake, which is a really popular uh, model. Lightweight, compact, and then a three-pronged flash hider. And so, you know, if you're a varmint hunter or if you're a target shooter and you've got a 22 caliber 223, you know, bolt gun or something like that, or maybe 22 Magnum or whatever, uh, you can throw this taper mount extension on here and now you can run your taper mount muzzle devices. So that's option number one. Uh, option number, or I'm sorry, that's actually option number two. Option number one is gonna be your direct thread interface that ships with the product in the box, okay? Option number two is gonna be the tear mount that we're talking about here. And then going to option number three, we're going to actually have a three lug interface, okay? So uh, this is the same three lug that you're gonna see on the Revolution, Resistance, as well as the Optimus 9 and the Optimus Micro. All those products take this, uh, this interface. Um, and if you, buy, if you buy this suppressor and you don't have this kit already uh, because you're not a previous customer of Griffin Armament, then when you purchase this three lug kit, it's actually gonna come with this custom housing here uh, in the package for no extra charge. So if you, if you do purchase this from a dealer or from our website, uh, you're going to uh, select the drop down for the three lug kit and you'll see the Resistance 22 option for this three lug kit and it's gonna include this socket housing uh, at no extra charge for the three lug kit. Now you do need to get three lugs. This, uh, this three lug adapter is made to uh, you know, the closest to HK spec that, that we know of that exists. Um, we, we, we did a decent amount of R&D in our three lugs and uh, you can find them, like I said, Griffin dealers or our website, but you're gonna need uh, little adapters as well as the kit itself. So the kit just drops into the rear, just like everything else, of course. Uh, if you want to, you can put some white Teflon tape around there or you can put uh, some anti-seize or whatever you want, you know, to make it a little bit easier to break loose. Um, if you go to our website under silencer maintenance or suppressor maintenance section, there's also Horse Jipe 2300, which is a extremely high heat resistant uh, anti-seize uh, that we recommend for full auto applications. Um, the resistance 22 is full auto rated in 22 long rifle, but it is not full auto rated in 223. Uh, it does support 223 Remington, but only for hunting use. And by hunting use or sporting use, we mean 10 rounds, uh, a 10 round string of fire as rapidly as you wish, but then allow the suppressor to cool to ambient temperature. Okay, so uh, there you have it. This is the third and final uh, setup for the product. But as you can see, it's a very, very versatile product. A lot of accessory support, you know, as you come to expect from Griffin Armament. And that is a brief overview of this product. Now, 
to answer maybe a couple common uh, frequently asked questions that we receive. You know, how often do I need to break down my suppressor for cleaning? Uh, well, with a 22 caliber suppressor such as this, uh, I would recommend breaking it down a minimum of every 500 rounds. Uh, if you let it go longer than that, you're going to see uh, that it's going to be a little bit harder to take apart uh, and clean. Now, to get those baffles out, if you do happen to go a lot longer than that, uh, you can just use a wooden uh, dowel, just a little wooden rod, you know, to kind of tap those baffles out um, very easily. Uh, some guys will put uh, the NICs on the outside of the baffle assembly as well, so that it slides out a little bit easier. Um, then you can also use our suppressor maintenance brushes on our website under the suppressor maintenance section, you know, to clean those thread interfaces both on the front and the rear of the product to get those clean of, uh, free of carbon before you do the reassembly process. So uh, really user serviceable product, very easy to use, uh, high performance, lots of functionality and, and feature functionality and versatility with this product. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any other uh, questions for us, feel free to hit, up, hit us up at tech at griffinarm.com or uh, call in to our customer service phone lines. Uh, we do staff those phone lines Monday through Friday, nine to five. Uh, if you wanna give us a follow, uh, we, are, we publish you know, quite a bit of content on our YouTube channel, as well as Facebook and Instagram. And you can always go to our website if you have specific uh, ratings question, questions for us. We do publish common ratings for all the common calibers that people would be using uh, these suppressors with. You know, so if you're thinking to yourself, you know, I've got this you know, particular caliber that I want to use this on, I would reference the website first. If the information is not there, feel free to hit us up at tech at griffinarmor.com or that customer service phone number. Thank you guys very much for watching. We appreciate your business and uh, another great product from Griffin Armin. Take care.